In this live self-defense training video, you're going to discover five self-defense moves you should know using your self-defense walking stick. This is just a 36 inch dowel rod. This one is an inch and a quarter in diameter. You can pick up a dowel rod like this from any do-it-yourself store or like a Home Depot or a Lowe's hardware store. A little bit of sandpaper, a little bit of oil. You've got flexible, strong, sturdy self-defense stick. This one's made out of oak. I'll put some links below if you wanna see what the materials are that you need to make your own self-defense walking stick. First thing I want you to do is stand behind your stick. So the stick is here. You put it between you and the threat and you're gonna slide your hand down the front and point it right at the threat. This is the first of the five self-defense moves you should know with your self-defense walking stick. First one is put it between you and the threat, get your other hand on it, and then step in with a simple thrusting motion. This simple thrusting motion is gonna create distance between you and the bad guy, you and the threat, you and the person who's trying to hurt you or take something from you, your life, your health, your dignity. Slide your hand down the front, point it at them, and step in with this simple thrust. As you thrust, the front arm becomes straight, the back arm moves, and your grip is nice and tight. You want to step to accelerate the power of that thrust, to hit them harder, hit them faster. Hello, everybody, it's good to see you. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already because that helps make this channel grow. Good morning. Your hand slides down here, pick it up here, step and thrust. If you have something to strike, you can practice striking, but if you don't have something to strike, keep practicing striking in the air. Hello, Gabriel, it's good to see you, thank you. All right, so number one, hand slides down here, pick it up, put it between you. The second of the five self-defense moves you should know with your self-defense walking stick, your hand is going to slide down the back. From this position, you're going to pick it up into a thrusting motion, a punching motion, you're gonna go straight into the nose, the teeth, the throat, good morning, Doug, into the solar plexus, right into the middle of his body. It's immediate, direct, and explosive. When you take a step, you're going to create more power more quickly. So the second of the five self-defense moves you should know with your walking stick, slide down the back, step in, and thrust. From this position, you now have the third motion, which is a block. I want you to start to practice putting this hand on this wrist, the wrist that's holding it, support it here, practice an upper block, practice a lower block, practice a middle block to one side and a middle block to the other side. Four basic blocks to cover yourself when you need to. One goes straight up, one to the side, to the other side, and then straight down. You practice sliding your hand down the back, block high, block to the side, block to the other side, block down if you need to block to the other side, block down pushing, your hand comes off your wrist, takes it and just pushes this way, using this to stop, especially like a bladed weapon. You put that between you and the blade, let them hit this instead of hitting this. So from here, your hand slides down the back. You pick it up the same way you did for number two and number three is a series of blocks. Practice high block, low block, side to side. And if you need to change sides, practice pushing in and away from your body. Always move that attack away from you. Good morning, Matthew, it's nice to see you. So for review, number one of the five self-defense moves you should know with your walking stick, slide down the front, point it, get the other hand, step and thrust, create distance between you and the threat. You're targeting his eyes, nose, mouth, throat, solar plexus, anything you can remove or destroy for self-defense. Number two, sliding down the back and step in with a punching motion using this part of that hard piece of wood you go into the nose or the throat or into the solar plexus, down into the groin, into the private parts so that you're striking with this part. Number three, from this position, see how that's locked on your arm? You're going to do a high block, a low block if you need to change sides. From here, it just comes over, pushes over, blocking to one side, blocking to the other side. Your other hand is here on the back of your wrist for support. When you get your two hands together, you're going to be very powerful, very strong. Now, the third or fourth, fourth of the five self-defense moves that you need to know to use your self-defense walking stick. When you're carrying your stick in your hand, just like this, you might not be using it this way. You might have it in the hand like this. You're going to turn your palm down so that it's in the other hand and you're gonna use this part, this bar of oak to smash right in and through his teeth, his throat, his nose, his jaw, into the chest. From this position, you can box the 
sides of his head, into the ribs, into the hips, down into the legs, take the knees out, just pushing from one side to the other side, and you're starting with this pushing motion. Imagine your entire body weight, however much you weigh, in motion by taking that step and leaning, and then both hands shooting forward and striking hard and fast with this piece of wood into the soft tissues of his face, his nose, his eyes, for self-defense, his teeth, his throat, his chest, moving him back. And then once you strike five, six, 10 times, then pushing from side to side and using it like a battering ram against his ears, against his neck for self-defense. So number one, you pick it up, point it at him, put the other hand on it, step and thrust. Number two, your hand comes down the back and you're gonna punch it like that. Number three, starting in the same position, getting it tight against your arm, pushing your hands up to block high, push your hand down to block low, block against one side, block against the other side. If the attack comes from the other angle, you just simply take the hand off the wrist, grab it and block to the side. Now you can practice blocking, you should practice blocking, but don't focus on blocking so much. Blocking should be last case scenario, right? Best case scenario is you hit him before he hits you. When you know the threat is imminent, you must defend yourself, step, pick it up, and get that strike right into the nose. Now, number five of the five ways that I want you to use your self-defense walking stick, five moves you should uh, use, for five ways to defend yourself, with your self-defense walking stick from either this position or this position. It's gonna be a twisting motion of your wrist. Bring it up and into the side of the head. You can come from either direction. It's a very deceptive strike for self-defense. It catches them off guard and it does not take a lot of wrist strength. It's more about turning your hips. The more you turn the hips, the harder it hits. And then if you take a step, the side getting your body out of the way his attack is coming here you want to step out of the way anyway stepping out of the way bringing that up this way if your hand is down on this position the same thing the same move can happen on either side so it doesn't matter if your hand is here or here so either slide it down the front slide down the back my suggestion is practice both ways see which one you like the best if you prefer this one practice that you can step to the other side, step to the other side. You'll find it's a very powerful, effective strike. And then you can immediately get it in that hand, thrust through here, strike down on top, go for the knees, all for self-defense. So those are the five ways, five moves that everyone should know, or you should know, using your self-defense walking stick. I want to review real quick, and then I have to go teach a bunch of little kids. Your hand starts here, put it between you and the threat, step and thrust from here step and thrust, just practice that over and over. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Means that if you practice taking your time, doing the motion right, and always both sides of the body, you never know which way you're going to need to move. Practice slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You become faster and faster as your body adapts to it, as you get stronger, as you get better at it. Number two, sliding down the back, thrusting this way. Number three, your blocking motions, just practice this basic blocking routine, pushing it away. Those are all, those are six. It's, but basically it's up, it's down, it's one side, and then it's the other side. To change the angle, you can just bring the other hand out, and that's a very effective way to use it for self-defense. Now, number three, carrying it this way, turning your hand over, pushing, right? Straight in. I think that was three, it might be four. All right. Uh, we'll come back to four. Striking number five up to the side, either with your hand down the front or your hand down the back in that position. So that's either four or five. <laughs> I'll have to go back and rewatch it. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you like the best? Which ones did I miss? There, there are so many ways to use this for self-defense. Um, hello, Patrick, Patrick's in sunny Slovakia. It's beautiful here today too in sunny South Florida. You guys have been awesome. I will see you in just a little bit. I'm going to go teach a bunch of three-year-olds.